Hi guys, it's Michelle and I'm just here super duper quickly to show you different ways to tie your Christine Headwear Boho Spirit. Now this is the colours that I'm wearing here are part of the Spring Summer 2019 collection and I'm just going to show you a couple of things. So this headwear I'm going to show you on a self coloured. This comes as your, it comes like this actually is how it comes like this. So you have a ribbon and it is attached to this kind of hat which has this band here. Now the ribbon is attached just on here at these two poppers. I've removed it just to show you different things you can do. So basically if you're just looking for something totally plain you can take the ribbon off, you can wear your hat as is like so and what this part here is is you bring that round over your head. Now if you straighten it out at the sides here you will see it kind of crosses over at the front. So if you're looking for just a plain kind of turban you have that here and it's got this extra material for some volume or you can pull it forward and make it look quite ruched. So this is style number one and that is with the ribbon removed. Okay, so if I put the ribbon back on here and just underneath it attaches on like so. There are multiple ways you can tie this and I'm not going to spend all day showing you like millions and millions of them but let's cover a few. So what you can do again, um, you have your tails coming at one side and this at the other. Now this is, this band here is created for you to bring over your head as so. And as we've said already, she kind of crisscrosses here. Now, what you can do is very simply grab this band, wrap it round. Now, you, I'm putting it behind this loop that I brought forward. And what you can do is, again, just bring it here. You can tuck it underneath these bands that you have been wrapping with the ribbon. Just bring her out and leave her down to hang smoothly. And this is style number two. What you can also do at this point, if you decide that you just wanted some extra volume added by having your ribbon, you can bring it right round and tuck it in here if you want to. For style number three, we have this band pulled back over the head here. You can wrap up here just hold it, bring it back in itself, so you're literally, the ribbon you're bringing up to here, you're holding your hand here, you're wrapping the ribbon back down where it's come from, around the back, and you can then pull it through here. What you can do is you can leave that and tuck in here, All about tucking and then we have turban style number three like so if the ribbon is brought back again what we have just done bring it up and hold it and then put it back round the back where you've come from twist it bring it up like we did a minute ago for the last style is pull through here but what you can actually do is tuck it under here so you're literally just tucking underneath all of what you've just wrapped around here and then pull through again here and create this little knot on top. So rather than having it smooth, you have a knot just here like so. Instead of bringing it up and around here, like it's actually been created to be brought up and sat around here like a headband, what I'm going to do instead is bring this up to the side here, get my ribbon in the other side and pull through. Now I'm going to wrap my ribbon around the back, bring it up and what you can do, I'm going to tuck that behind, you can bring that out here and you can literally just bring it out and leave it hanging down. 
So it's quite a similar style to what we had at first, other than the top here is different. What you, what you can do is leave it hanging or you can wrap it. What I'm doing here is I am literally just wrapping it and bringing it back through on itself and have a very short piece hanging but with this almost kind of rose knotted pattern at the side. Okay so what I'm going to do now um, is, so as you saw I clipped this ribbon on, there are these new ribbons which are patterned and this is one that is designed to go with this self-coloured headwear. Now you can just remove the ribbon that comes with it and attach this instead, which you can do and it's beautiful. You can create these same sort of looks that we've just done, but when you use a patterned ribbon on the self-coloured headwear, it does come up looking totally different and it's really, really beautiful. What I actually like to do with the new ribbons that we have is I like to just add them in and also keep this. That's not for everybody, but I just like to have a lot of material to play with and I do like that. So what I'm going to do is grab this new ribbon. Rather than detaching the original ribbon that comes with it, I'm going to just sit this on over my head. I will show you. Like so. I'm going to bring this round to the side here. I want these tails about the same length, okay? So I am just bringing that up and this is just sitting. This is not tied at this point. Now the part here that we have, I am bringing it up. The original ribbon which is attached on, I'm going to bring that up too. And what I'm going to do, so the new ribbon is just underneath this here, the original ribbon, I'm bringing up and I am tightening. Don't worry if this flops around, we're going to fix it all. And I'm bringing the original ribbon around the back here to the side. Now this new ribbon that we have just sat in, what I'm going to do is where this is all tied, I you can do so many things. I mean you could like braid it if you want to. What I'm going to do is with the original ribbon that's brought up, pulled around and through, I'm grabbing that, I'm going to wrap it around my pattern ribbon here and I'm going to wrap it again and then I'm going to bring it up and bring it through itself where I've wrapped. If you find all this wrapping and tying to be a bit problematic and difficult, you can use like hair bands, hair elastics, but to save any of that, there we go, we have just achieved this kind of look. Now we have your original, which is attached on at the back. We have the ribbon that we've just basically sat over and they're all together here. So we have some nice material and if I turn around, this just shows you another way to tie. Now what you can do is you can literally swoop all that. What I've done there, sorry, is just grab all my materials. You can twist them if you want. I don't tend to twist it. I would bring this up, tighten this right up, and I would do just a wrap around and tuck in. Now you can use hair elastics to secure this if you find the tucking difficult, as we've said but you don't have to, you can literally just do it as is and then you have this lovely look and you have your patterned and your self-coloured ribbon all coming through together and you're able to create this look and you've got this kind of fancy wee knot section up here where you have brought the stuff around and looped it. So it is off of your body, you don't have the tails hanging but you have created this beautiful little bun type look on the side. This is gorgeous. I absolutely adore. So the original tail is just hanging here. If I bring this section up, I can actually loop the new ribbon through it. Make sure it's kind of even at both ends here. Okay. Now, so this is the new ribbon here. And then I'm going to use the original ribbon too 
I'm going to bring that over this side and then what I'm going to do is with this here I'm going to bring this up these new ribbon tails bring them up here they're going to get tucked under now they're not long enough to do much more with so I'm tucking them and leaving them and then this original ribbon I'm bringing back round bringing it up here. I don't want to cover this so I'm tucking it behind. This is just a big game of tucking, 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 tucking and it is super secure. It's not just going to fall out. This gives you a kind of different turban appearance with these peekaboo colours just showing through and that's something else that you've got. It's another kind of look that you can create. It is beautiful. As I've said, we could be here all day tying and showing you different ways to be wearing this and it's beautiful. That is the thing with headwear. The headwear on the market today, there is so much from so many brands. Certainly, I do love headwear that is versatile. I love being able to change it up. I love having a bit of a creative side because I'm not the most arty farty person on the planet if I'm honest but I do love having um, the opportunity to feel that way by creating what I like. I do like to play with makeup. I do like to play around with headwear. I like to play with my wigs. I like to restyle and make things personal, make them my own and that's what I have kind of done here with the Christine Headwear Sapphire Boho Spirit Turban. Now you have this extra material at the back which is lovely I just think it's lovely to create some extra volume not everybody likes the look of headwear being flush against their head I don't mind headwear being flat against my head I don't mind that I also don't mind having volume I don't necessarily have a preference one day I can prefer to have volume to my headwear and another day I can like it to be nice and flush and flat and smooth so that's the beauty with these things you can change them up you make it your own you do what suits you not what suits me it's up to yourself so guys yeah this is the sapphire boho spirit turban from christine headwear i will link it down below you can buy this from me at memowigs.com if you are interested the ribbons are separate they do come separately you have to purchase them separately if you it comes with the original ribbon so you will have if you buy the self-colored headwear it comes with the self-colored ribbon attached to it if you do want to buy the pattern ribbon you would buy that separately this turban does actually come in this pattern with this pattern ribbon and then you can buy the plain ribbon separately if that's what you want to do. There are other shades, there are other colours as well so you know the world's your oyster. You can get create and you can play. Um, I have some of the Christine headwear from the previous season and I'm going to start playing around with my ribbons with these colours and see how they work out together. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. It's lovely. So I'm going to probably just keep this one on like so for today. So take care. Keep sparkling, be your own beautiful. I'll be back very soon with more wig reviews, more headwear stuff, more makeup. Just a wee bit of everything and um, I have had a few people send me a few questions and want me to do a bit of a chat and a vloggy type thing so I will do a wee bit of a chatty talking video as well. So if you've got any questions just pop them down below and also um, I just want to say an extra big hello and sending all my love to Mia of Christine Headwear. Mia Nielsen is just the most beautiful, beautiful woman that ever she's just lovely and um, she actually sent me one of the boho spirit turbans the sapphire last year after i had met her at the trends co which is the azarin's uk um, fashion show where i was modeling i was five stone heavier um, and yeah i met her then and i don't even think i kind of did the hated wear justice but she was so beautiful and she sent me one after the show and I just was like, yep, the boho spirit is, is just amazing. I love it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go for now because I could talk all day to you as you guys know very well and you don't have time for that. <laughs> you don't have time to listen to my nonsense. So I'm going to go speak to you all soon and yeah, send you on my love. Bye.